Hi guys, Marika here with another color tutorial and today I'm going to color some balloons. We're actually going to do the whole card. But when it comes to balloons, you want to think about that they are round objects and when you do round objects, you want to give it a rounded shadow at the bottom from your light source. My light source is in the upper right corner. And then you just go in and uh, kind of create bigger U shapes every time and kind of leave a little bit of a circle where you want the kind of light to to hit. I also add something called a rim light or a secondary source or a reflect reflecting light. And for me, I feel like the uh, balloons look even more round when I give that little rim light, but you don't really have to have the rim light. You can just do the U shapes, um, kind of an open U shape, which is open towards the light source. And I'm using a whole bunch of different colors because I just found these color schemes or the um, color combinations and I just wanted to use them on balloons. Um, and then you have the cast shadow, which I may basically just make kind of a rounded shape on top of the um, balloon behind. Now this dark balloon in the background is just in the upper corner, so it will not have any shadows cast on it. Uh, but I did do still try to you know, think about having that little bit of a circular shine at the top and the U shapes at the bottom. And that's basically how you color balloons. Pretty simple. By the way, these balloons are at the moment free over at the uh, group for Little Miss Muffet Stamp, the Little Miss Muffet Stamp uh, like Facebook group. And I will put a link in the description down below so you can go and join them. They have a whole bunch of really, really fun challenges, but also they have a lot of uh, people share a lot of beautiful creations. So come and come and join, uh, join us and and sh show your little Miss Muffet stamps creations too. So um, I did a fussy cutting of it, and then I just cut out those um, strings. Now I'm gonna do the background. So I've cut out two of these rectangular um, dice by Simon Says Stamp, and I'm gonna do kind of a stacked cloud background because I thought balloons are in the in the background and I'm going to use both sides of this rectangle to make my kind of stackable cloud parts. Um, this means that I can get more out of my uh, die cuts but I realized I wanted a bigger one so I actually cut a third of that rectangular and went in with these uh, cloud border dies by my favorite things and then I have my four stackable clouds, but you can't really see them. So I am going to do some blending today to make them look a little bit better. So I'm going in with some um, tumbled glass. Yes, that was the name of the ink. I'm going in very, very, very light. I'm basically just, uh, I even hold my pinky to hold up the tool a little bit from the background so that I have a super, super light hand, which helps with getting the blending much blended. Uh, if I wanted something darker, I would just go over and over and over. But in this case, I kind of wanted those light colors. Then I'm going to go in with uh, the picked raspberry, which is a very, very strong ink. So I'm going in again with a super light hand and I'm being very, very uh, careful of actually starting the coloring outside uh, of the paper so that most of the ink goes onto the mat instead of the paper. Because if I would go directly to the paper, you would get a lot of ink and it would be a very, very stark pink. And then I'm going in with some, let's see, I, I don't remember, yeah, dried marigold uh, on top of that. It's one of those colors I usually don't use, but I, I wanted a, a kind of a peachy orange and dried mar marigold is, is perfect for that. And for the last one, I'm going in with some squeezed lemonade, which is just a little bit of yellow. I do some droplets. and sprinkle some water in my hand and then I just do some droplets onto the background um, because I thought it could be fun. 
uh, and after letting it dry for a little while or sit for a little while I'm going in with my uh, paper towel and just blot away the water so that I get my kind of small uh, droplets and then it's time to a layer then I'm not going to use any kind of foam adhesive when layering these I'm just going to layer on, on top of each other being that I have four layers it's going to be pretty thick just with the cardstock and yeah the cardstock I'm using is some Nina solar white cardstock uh, 80 pound because I thought it would be a good one and then uh, just adding with my tape runner all of the different um, clouds and that color helps those clouds uh, stand out still keep the tops white but you can see the clouds stand out a little bit more and all the different colors and to finish it off I'm putting some foam adhesive on the back side of my little balloons and adding that to my front and I didn't want to have a sentiment on the front side of my card base so instead I made a card base to fit it's about a quarter inch bigger on uh, each side of that square so it gives about an eighth of an inch of a um, border around it and just you again using some of that tape runner to put on the back side and to do the finishing touch I'm gonna have a birthday wishes on the inside because for me balloons is a lot of birthdays so I'm gonna stamp that in some Versa fine onyx black and that is actually the card for today thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions use a comment down below if you like this card please thumbs it up it means a lot to me all the details about the cards and the link to the blog is in the description down below and you can also see two more videos from little miss muffet stamps thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you later bye